I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Finextra TV. Today we're in Dubai for the SunTech Confluence 2019, the theme of which is Digital at the Core. With me now is the group CFO of Finance House Abu Dhabi, TK Robin. Hello TK, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you Hannah, it's a pleasure to be here. Wonderful. And now I want to talk to you about Middle East banks. How are they looking at digital transformation and how do you think this compares to European banks? Middle Eastern banks are no different from banks anywhere else. Uh, we service a diaspora of people from all over the world. There are more than 200 countries, for example, represented in the UAE. And they all have expectations from their home markets, uh, and, and there's no way that Middle Eastern banks can fall behind. Mm -hmm. But more specifically, uh, as far as UAE is concerned, it's at the forefront of everything digital. Uh, Dubai leads innovation in the digital uh, government. They call them Dubai Inc. Mm -hmm. And that sets the tone for banking, which is a very core part of the UAE economy, for instance, to follow the digital route. Mm -hmm. Most people uh, here have access to mobile phones. Internet penetration is fantastic in the country and Middle East as, as a whole. So that already paves the way for a basic level of customer education adaptation. The other important factor that actually drives uh, a lot of innovation in the digital space and digital transformation is that most of the Middle Eastern countries are fairly young mm -hmm. uh, population. The average age is below 40. So a very tech savvy, uh, very immediate consumption uh, kind of attitudes, that dictates uh, the drive towards innovation. Today, for example, uh, I don't want to name the bank, but if you see the newspaper today morning, one of the top five banks in, in the UAE has announced that they're going to shut down 50% of their branches because they are turning digital. I think that should answer your question mm -hmm. as far as how Middle Eastern banks are doing. You certainly have. Thank you for painting the picture. And now, how is Finance House chartering the journey towards the digital core? Firstly, Finance House is not a bank. Uh, we are a non-banking finance company. Uh, we do everything that a bank does, except we don't accept deposits from individuals. By design, we are smaller than banks because banks are typically owned uh, by governments and, and, and larger institutions. What digital transformation does to an entity like Finance House is it equates the playing field with a large bank. Mm -hmm. If you are nimble, if you can develop products and services that customers can consume digitally, there's no difference between you and the largest bank in the country. So in terms of our journey of digital transformation, uh, we have been working on our uh, strategy for the past three years. Uh, we have moved a lot of applications that the customers used to do manually uh, onto the digital platforms. Mm -hmm. Uh, today, for example, if, if somebody wants to take a credit card or a personal loan from Finance House, all that they need to show uh, is their Emirates ID. Mm -hmm. Everything else is seamlessly worked in the background. The information about his credit worthiness is checked from the credit bureau. It goes into a decision engine, and we go back to the customer in less than two minutes, mm -hmm. telling him how much credit we can give him and on what terms. If he says yes, then we stop the other formalities. In terms of legislation, this country has still not accepted uh, digital signatures legally. Mm -hmm. So even though the decision for a credit is given electronically, we still have to fulfill the legal requirements of completing the documentation post facto. But then the customer is happy because he's already got what he wanted. So he doesn't mind signing a few pieces of paper. But I believe that the government is already working on moving into 
the next phase of digitization, which is accepting digital signatures. And I think that would really increase the level of digital consumption of goods and services, especially in banking. Well, TK, thank you very much for sharing your insights. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of the event. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. And thank you for watching.